side hustles that actually work? Do you feel like that sometimes when you're grinding it out at your nine to five and here you are trying to build this side hustle and it seems like no matter what you're doing, nothing is working. You're just not creating the type of income that is going to free you from this nine to five. I hear you. Stay with me and we're going to dive into that. Hi, my name is Sandy Sinden, 30 year corporate career as a marketing leader and also a mindset coach trained in NLP and RRT. I help entrepreneurial women who are stuck in the nine to five grind, fast track their business growth so that they can hand in that final resignation letter and create the life work balance that they crave. Thank you for joining me. And I want to let you know that if you stay to the end, I have a special bonus training where I'm going to talk to you about the steps to build an online brand. And don't forget, make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. So let's dive into it. Are there any side hustles out there that actually work? Yes, of course there are. You know what? The reality and the truth is absolutely any of them will work as long as it's not some sort of scam. All of them will work. The better question is, will you work them? You see, it's not as much about the side hustle as it is about you. So many people are quick to start something. And if it doesn't work in this instantly, remember we live in this microwave society, so it has to work quickly, then it must not work. Well, I got news for you. Building a business takes time. You have to be in it for the long haul. You have to be willing to do what it's going to take to actually make the business work. If you're struggling and your side hustle isn't working, I've got a few steps here that you can take. Some things to ask yourself and make sure that you're clear on. If you're struggling, here are some steps that you can take to turn things around. Let's get started. One, do you have clear goals? Do you have goals for your business? Do you know where your business is going? What you want out of your business? Are they clear and specific? So many people get in a business and they have no goals. They're just winging it. Well, if you're winging it, that's what you're going to get. That's called a hobby, not a business. Make sure that you have set clear goals for yourself on where you want your business to go. Do you have a business plan? Your business plan is kind of that overview of exactly what you want in your business. And I've done a training on business plans. So go look for that training. You'll find it on my channel. Make sure you've subscribed and then you can go check out that business plan training, but make sure you have a business plan. You know, a pilot would not get in a plane and not have a roadmap of where they're going. You wouldn't hop in the car and drive cross country without a map. Otherwise you would end up in God knows where, and maybe eventually you'd get where you want to go, but I guarantee you it's going to take you a whole lot longer than if you actually have a plan. That's what a business plan is. Are you managing your time efficiently? Trust me, I understand trying to juggle a full-time job and build a business and perhaps you have a family and life and other things. You really have to become quite efficient at your time management and your business has to be your, your priority. Now, I'm not saying over your family, but definitely has to be a priority. So set time that is going to be for your business. And if something better comes along, you can't just say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. So make sure that you are honoring and being self integral to the calendar that you set up for your business. Financial planning. Make sure that you're keeping your finances separate so that you can see what is your business earning? What are you spending on your business? and make sure that you're making the right financial decisions for your business. You're also going to want to think about saving the money that you make in your side hustle so that that becomes part of your transition plan, that you have some cushion when you get ready to transition from your nine to five to full-time entrepreneur. You want to build an online presence. Make sure that your brand is out there in the digital world and people know who you are. Take advantage of leveraging with other entrepreneurs. You can learn so much from other people who have already paved the road and done it, not to mention creating partnerships with them that can help escalate your business quicker. Focus on customer satisfaction. Make sure the customers you have are happy and you're servicing them. It's a lot easier to upsell current customers than to be constantly getting new customers. You want to be continuously learning and adapting. 
this is more so than ever an ever changing world in the business space and especially in the online space things are constantly changing so make sure that you are staying up on that go to a couple of different workshops each year so that you're staying on top of you know what are the latest trends what are the latest marketing tactics that you might want to be thinking about what's working what's not working all of that really important seek feedback from your customers you want to be always improving your service or your product so ask them do they like it what else would they like to see is there more that you could add you want to over deliver to your customers so they're so happy they want to tell the world about you i have a program i'm in i actually hired her to become my one-on-one -on -one coach because i was so impressed with the content and the value of the content that i ended up spending a great deal of more money because of that so make sure that you're over delivering to your customers and you're getting that feedback feedback from them invest in yourself you want to continually grow so wherever you have skills that maybe aren't where they need to be invest in yourself to get better in those areas evaluate your progress regularly sometimes we just you know again want to wing it and we're not actually looking at well how are we actually doing so make sure that you're looking at your progress and evaluating it and make sure that you're going in the right direction and lastly have a plan for your transition know how much money it's going to take for you to cover your bills know how much money you need to have in the bank to feel comfortable making that transition know how many customers you need to you know get each month or keep each month or sell upsell you need to know all of these in order to have that transition goes smoothly for you and for you not to end up three months later back in that nine to five job so these are just some top ideas for you to start thinking about your side hustle is going to work for you as long as you work for it don't keep jumping from one thing to the other thinking that oh this will work better than what i was doing or this it's not the side hustle it's you that needs to stay in the game now I mentioned at the beginning that if you were held to the end, I was going to give you quick training on how to create your online brand. So these are just a few quick steps on what to do. First, it's your messaging. Make sure that your messaging is so clear that people know exactly what you do, how you do it, where you do it, how they can get involved, like be super clear and specific on your messaging. So many times people speak so broadly that nobody understands what it is you actually do. So make sure your messaging is on point because people will begin to recognize you through your messaging. Start to use the same colors when you're out on social media or you're creating, you know, any type of graphic, pick colors you can go on to pinterest and they have color boards where you can kind of create your own brand that recognition you know if you've ever looked at an instagram profile and you see all the different squares you can tell what somebody's brand colors are by looking at that if they're doing it right and then people start to recognize that if they see certain colors like i have a friend who's a, a google expert so she uses those google colors well whenever i see her stuff i know it's her because i know her colors so people will start to know your colors and our colors are so unique to us because god there's a million different colors out there and there's lots of different tools that you can use to create that your graphics be consistent in your graphics you might want to get a logo done you might want to have some icons like for me i'm very much about a beach theme so i tend to use the same colors the same types of graphics so that when you see something whether you see my instagram or you see my youtube or you see a freebie that i send you it all looks and feels the same so you start to know who i am you start to recognize it if an email pops into your box you know what to look for and that way people begin to know who you are and then lastly is being consistent on a platform there's no better way for somebody to recognize your brand as if they see you consistently the worst mistake you can make is show up and you know maybe post four times one week and then you don't show up for a week and then you post two times and then you don't post again if you are consistently out there and you're doing the messaging right and you've got your colors going and you've got your graphics and they see you constantly they're going to begin to know who you are and they're going to begin to look for you if they like you so this is four quick strategies that you can use to, to really get your online brand out there. I'd also like to offer you a free resource. It's my entrepreneur kickstart guide, really helpful steps and tips in there that you can take a look at. Just message me down below and I'll get that over to you as quickly as possible. And thank you for staying with me till the end. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside and Hey, don't forget subscribe. I'll See you in the next training.